hello, hello, hello. Thank you for watching me today. I'm gonna show you how to make uh, some delicious oatmeal protein cookies. Why are we calling them protein cookies? Cause they have some protein powder in them that uh, I usually get the, like the organic protein powder. Oh, by the way, today I did my nails. I don't like long nails cause I cook all the time. So I clean a lot, I cook a lot. So, but I like them. So, okay, let's get back to cooking. Today I'm gonna show you how to make uh, this oatmeal protein cookies. And I love these cookies, actually. I saw a friend of mine doing them and she basically just put protein powder, bananas, and oatmeal. And she said it's a very good snack when you come from the gym or some, or, or you come from the gym. Or anytime during the day if you are hungry instead of snacking on something like chips or something sugary you can just snack on them I made these cookies and since I started making them I never stopped putting a twist to mine I put some uh, cinnamon and chocolate bits and some sour cream or you can use some Greek yogurt since it's good or low fat sour cream is what I use so they are really great. So you'll see me making them shortly, but I wanted to also just taste them for you. Yes, I love cooking. And please check out my other videos because I use oatmeal a lot. I like oatmeal, so I make some um, delicious breakfast, breakfast smoothie. If you want, you need to check it out. You can see over there, I'm playing a little bit of it. But if you want to see the whole of it, you can check it. rest of my videos on. on. Say, cooking is fun. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, we got three bananas here these are ripe bananas that you need to make this uh, beautiful delicious oatmeal with some protein as i explained earlier i mean this is the protein i use protein powder this is uh, plant-based so now we're ready to make our oatmeal uh, our oatmeal, you see, I, I don't know how to sing, so, um, but this is it. Now we have three bananas. You see, they have to be nice and ripe. So don't throw them away next time. Now you can make use of them by making this delicious oatmeal cookies. And then... You know, usually I love eating oatmeal in the morning, so this I don't mind it at all because now I'm eating it in a cookie stage, you know. Now I'm, I'm eating it in a form of cookies, so um, just breaking them up with a knife, but sometimes if they're too overripe, you don't even need to do that. So I'm just going to use a spoon to mash. oatmeal I love eating oatmeal I eat oatmeal every morning so this is a great 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 stuff for me I really love this cookies next thing I'm gonna put two cups of oatmeal any any oatmeal that you like or grain oatmeal or whatever you usually eat for breakfast if you do eat oatmeal like I do but, uh, so, um, okay, let's make our cookies. So now, you see, it's all from your ripe bananas. Don't throw them away. So now, I'm going to put one cup of sour cream. Maybe not all of it, you know, I'm not very good at, at measuring, like I said, but 
that's just how I cook. So, by the way, while you're doing this, I put the oven on at 375. So that should be ready by the time you are done with this cookies. And here comes the main thing, that protein powder, the your protein that you need, especially for those who love to go to the gym, or those who are just out of uh, eating carbohydrates. So this is some good stuff. I really love these cookies. Seriously, since I saw my friend make them, I'm like, okay, I'm going to start making this stuff. And boy, I love them since then. So you see how nice it looks. No milk, nothing. This is just from the bananas. You gotta make it good. good. You gotta have fun in the kitchen. I always do. So now here I have a half tablespoon of baking powder. There we go. In here, she doesn't put baking powder, but I decided to put baking powder because it just makes it even more smooshy, 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 smooshy. And then a little bit of cinnamon. So I'm just going to show you a little how I put it. This should be about maybe one teaspoon of cinnamon. But I just judge by looking at it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boy, those bananas were nice and ripe. And then, I mean, this is it. This is it, basically. Not much. Not much at all. So okay, I'm ready to separate this. Uh, this will be with the chocolate chips. This will be with almonds. So... There we go. Isn't that fun? You tr trust me, you're gonna love it. So anyway, uh, that will be with the chocolate. Nice, isn't it? Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. That being that, I'm done with that. And I'm gonna put the, the silver almonds in here. Now we get the pan, have the parchment paper on it. Um, I find sometimes I put, I put the uh, aluminum under it so they don't brown too much. That's the trick to it, depending on kind of oven you have. So I'm gonna just, you just use the spoon to scoop them in. Nothing tricky about it. And ready to go in the oven. This should bake about 20 minutes. 